just a young girl you see had so much to prove expectations so high the walls wouldn't move see your face is disappointing Courtney Fly Courtney Fly The Walkers are a typical, the typical average American family. Two kids, have a son who is 19 years old, who's uh, second semester college. And we have a daughter who's eighth grader, who's about to head to high school. A husband, we've been married 21 years, and a dog, China. Courtney is the child in class who doesn't want anybody to outdo her. So Courtney has never made a C. We're in eighth grade, and she's made one B. If you have any incline that you can't, Courtney will convince you that you can. Courtney was born with passion. In some families you have like a, a cornerstone that kind of like keep everybody together and make you laugh. And Courtney is the cornerstone in our family. She has a spirit about her that is unbelievable. And as a dad, it just lifts your heart and make you smile whenever, whenever I see her because I know some of the things that she's been through. I met Courtney when she was just about 10 years old, 10 and a half years old. She's an athletic little girl who the minute before she knew she had scoliosis didn't think a thing in the world was wrong with her. And then all of a sudden this diagnosis comes down out of nowhere that she has a curvature in her spine. My wife called me at work and said, oh, we need to talk. I said, everything's okay? She said, well, we need to talk. I didn't really think anything was wrong with my body. I thought it was normal. My parents used to tell me to stand up straight. I was like, I am. What's wrong? And until fifth grade, then we found out that I had scoliosis. What Courtney has is a diagnosis called congenital scoliosis. So before she was ever born, at four to six weeks of gestational age, there was something that went a little haywire with the formation of her spine. That part I was worried about, the surgery. Like, how was it gonna turn out? Was I gonna make it through the surgery? How was I gonna look after the surgery? Uh, I was afraid, you know, because we didn't know what to expect. We didn't know what the end result was gonna be. As a dad, it was um, hard because, you know, you, you the, the dad, you the protector. You know, you're supposed to keep your family safe. So we put two metal rods in and they fastened to the spine with some screws to bring the spine to as straight a position as we can achieve. After the surgery, anesthesia started wearing off. And uh, I think she said mama first. She opened her eyes and she had a little smile on her face. When she smiled, everybody in the room started smiling. Because hope, hope. I didn't think long term, I didn't think about um, her running again or playing basketball or going back to the sports. My immediate concern was how to get my child back movable to even walk. You know, these girls are durable. They're amazing. When their bodies recover from surgery, they truly do gain the ability to become fully active again. I felt great ever since. So I was like, oh, I can do this. You're not going to get hurt. The rods are perfectly fine in your back. You got this. to the extent of doing something like cartwheels. No, no, we never thought that that would happen. We are in wonder kid mode at this point. When we saw her uh, practicing a round off back handspring, in my mind as a mom, we can't do that. You know, you had back surgery two years ago. And when she did it by herself, I filmed it. I showed it to Dr. Carroll. And she says, you had surgery two years ago, Courtney, you can't do this. And they laughed about it. Everything that goes sideways is going to come up after surgery. And so any correction that we can achieve in surgery gives the girls some height. I have three daughters. They all wanted to be taller than me, and they've all succeeded. And it's very exciting to see a girl become taller than her mom. Um, Courtney, you won. Yes! I don't need to see it. Let me see the tape. Just a young girl you see had so much to prove.
you know, after the surgery, uh, her mindset changed too. She, she see that she's growing. And I had to look back and say, this is, this is not a little girl anymore. This is a, a young lady, a teenager right now. Things like that lift your heart. So life is good. Life is good. Texas Scottish Rite Hospital for Children, making dreams possible.